So I'm back at here at my channel Wonderlust and just thinking about more freeform thoughts and I just posted my last video blog and listened to my own video and was talking about the 200 foot thing and forest from heaven to carry that treasure I want to elaborate on that idea of I just think that that's a bit of a tell in the sense that he had to carry the treasure now if he's saying he carried it in his hands from the car I just I envision certain issues um one of the things I think I had some pictures here let's see if I can get those to come up let's see well one of the things that I envision is I mean we've and I'm gonna have to go back to that is that Forrest Finn says that he drove a sedan you know to the spot and that makes me wonder is he talking about a spot that's on a paved road or on a dirt road um, I think those are two very kind of different things and it still makes me wonder to this very day now if you have a sedan and you kind of really don't care about and all it makes me wonder also too what kind of a sedan now if you're really I guess it, I, I always kind of tend to think about that well maybe he's driving an older car and so he could not maybe care as much about the car getting dinged up or the paint job, but I guess that doesn't really matter whether that be a brand new, whether it was a brand new Toyota or a rented Toyota SUV, who cares about that? As long as it had the suspension, it would have been able to get down a road like this. Um, let's see. Even a road like this, this is getting a little more advanced. And I'll look at some more of these here. Let's see. Let's try this one. That was the same one. Here was... Yeah, this is getting a little more difficult. And that was the point I made, wanted to make, was about paved roads and dirt roads. And going down the decisional path of, did he ever go off on a dirt road and the reason why I think it's interesting and I have to stop saying interesting too much I say it all the time I need to find some new words to describe thought process but when you look at sites there are some great solved sites but you have to leave the paved road to get to a lot of those places and I think it's entirely feasible that Forrest Finn, being an, uh, a lifelong fisherman, that he would push the bounds of not staying on paved roads and going off on uh, unpaved roads in order to find interesting places to go fishing. Because, let's face it, some of the more interesting places to go fishing, you require that you go in Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico, and uh, Montana, I've seen many, many very interesting sites on maps and then went out to that site, and my car is probably capable of it, but I'm not going to take it out there on something like this. Would it have made it? It would have. Am I afraid of banging the car up? Yeah. You know, would I rent a car to go out and do something like this? Yeah, more likely especially like an SUV with four-wheel drive. And that's possible what Forrest Fenn did. And I just think there's kind of like this binary decisional thing is, di and that is a, a question that I think, that I pose in my mind all the time is, are we looking for a site that's just off a paved road? Or are we looking at a site that's not, you know, you have to take a paved road and then go off on some dirt road. And maybe that's one of the reasons why this thing is so hard to find. Because where warm waters haul and taking in the canyon down is not 
it's no place for the meek. Remember, we're told it's no place for the meek. So, I just think this is a gorgeous picture. It's wonderful. Wonderful picture. Let's try this one. Oh, snow. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's a lot of snow. And I was just showing it was paved road. And I have to admit, a lot of my solves, the things I've done, I've stayed on the blacktop. I mean, that is not to say that I've pulled over on places and gone hiking off, but it would have been like a road like this, and there's a median. I mean, there's been cases where I've pulled off onto a dirt road from the blacktop, but I have certainly never gone further than that. I think this is also... This is like... Well, I was gonna. Sh I was trying to show another example of a non-blacktop road. This one seems pretty reasonable, but there's some pretty good grades here. You really, it's still not that bad. And so, I guess the thought I was having with these pictures that I pulled down was versions of non-paved roads. And Forrest Finn, in his fishing adventures would have well that's the question is would he have pushed those bounds of going at 79 80 years old going out someplace like this and just, i'm guessing also that if he'd been there before maybe he'd been there lots of times maybe he'd just been there once but he definitely had been there before maybe when he was younger or i think this is another thing too is that even though this is kind of high desert, and I might be using that word wrong, high desert, it's more of a mountainous desert area. One of the things that I've learned about this is that even though roads like this look upon first uh, inspection don't seem to be that difficult, you'd be surprised how these ro a road like this or any of these dirt roads can have severe ruts in them and they can just go on for miles where it is just unending undulations and bumps and I mean your car will be rattled till it falls apart I mean you better be prepared when you go another thing too is when you go off on a road like this and you're on a dirt road there is no 7-Eleven there is no Arco there is no AAA and sometimes there's no self-service I mean you're way out pushing the bounce. I mean, I wouldn't say you're beyond the middle of nowhere. You're, you know, if you drive out 20 miles and you have a flat tire, you're going to have a long walk back. That's for sure. To to get to a paved road and wave somebody down, or get to cell service, you can make a phone call. So, so that's what my thought process about this was. That does Forest Fan stay on a paved road, and then exit off onto a dirt road? And I'm thinking more and more that that is a possibility. Now, if I take away that possibility that he stays on a paved road, then he's going to have to go somewhere where... I mean, he's lim not limited. I don't like the word limited, but it is amazing how often, especially the examples I had were... Well, I saw it all through all four states where I had seen a road on a Google map, and when I got out there, when I drove the, whatever the time it was to get out to that site, I was often surprised from the Google map. It looked like it was passable or paved, but once I got there, I realized it was a dirt road, and then once you get down that dirt road, if your vehicle is not, and you're not, uh, if your vehicle is not a really... First, you don't have the right clearance. Second, the car doesn't have the right tires and four-wheel drive. And the other part is, do you have the driving skill to get down that road? Another thing, too, is that often roads can be damaged by rain and have just severe ruts or other damage to them, make them very difficult and passable. Another thing that I noticed, too, is uh, there, it's very difficult to turn around on these roads it's even doing like a three-point turn 
becomes like a 10 point turn so did Forrest Venn take it that far out and out that far out I think could maybe be not that far out in but and I'm sort of repeating myself but I think wonder that I wonder if it's going off on these dirt roads afforded Forrest Fenn a chance to go to fishing spots that are unique. And I think as your fisherman, you probably, especially an avid fly fisherman, you're going to want to go to these really pristine places where you're alone, where there's not a hundred other people, where you don't hear the hum of the highway nearby. I mean, you want to just hear that trickle of that water and, you know, the wind blowing through the trees and just have that moment of fly fishing, I think. And that may have taken him to these places. It also might explain the reason why people are not finding these places. You have to be able to go further off the track. Now, that being said, Forrest Fan also said that this place is where... Don't go anywhere where a 79 or 80-year-old man would go. But if you have the mechanical advantage of the car... And I know I'm going flip-flop, begging back and forth. I think the other one that sticks in my mind over and over again is the aspect that he keeps talking about, and I'll have to find the clip from the interview, is he says that it's a place where people bring their children. Which more and more makes me wonder, okay, do people bring their children out on a dirt road like this out in the outback? And the answer is sort of yes and no. I think there's some smaller subsection of people who would or do, but the vast majority of people who don't. Which goes back to my original thought about the 200-foot thing, is if somebody was in 200 feet of this, were they really off on a dirt road like this? But then I flip-flop back to the point of that it's possible that if it was someplace pristine or far off the beaten track, that he did just pull off you know, into an area, and that he would have been able to just carry it off to this special spot in his hands, because there were very few people around. But by the same token, he says that he went to a parking area. I don't think he said a parking lot, but a parking area. So I think more and more what I'm trying to do is talk myself out of that... It's not going to be down one of these dirt roads like this. It's going to be off the pavement, someplace. And that's why he says it's simple. And I'm wondering if you just can drive there or park and get out. And, you know, that is true, too. If you show up to one of these locations early in the morning... But the problem with that, again, is he said he did it in an afternoon. So I think that's the way I think what I'm trying to do is show my thinking when I start trying to analyze these things is I start asking myself, you know, could it be this or could it be that? And if you start going down the path of it's a dirt road, you start asking yourself all the things I just thought about is if it's down this dirt road, you know, could you realistically drive down there safely? And is that a place where people would take their kids? And is there a parking lot? etc etc but then if you go down the other path if it's a paved road it would be maybe not as pristine of a place though there are plenty of really interesting places you can go fishing off of paved roads all right well so that's kind of my thought for the day there on uh, forest fen so like my video leave a comment subscribe thank you very much mm -hmm.